Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A4E Skyhawk and we're looking at SEAD or SEAD, S-E-A-D, Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses, basically shooting radar sites or SAM sites. The weapon we've got for this is the AGM 45A Shrike. Now let's open our canopy to arm up. To arm up we need our canopy open and our engine off and spooled down. Armament screen, we can have them on pylons 1, 2, 4 and 5. So I'm going to arm up with 4 of them now. While they arm up, let's have a talk about missile and look at the controls we're going to be using today. So to fire the missile, we're going to be using weapon release. We'll need to access the armament panel behind the control stick and the only way of really doing that is to this hide show control stick so you can hide the control stick. We're also going to be looking at countermeasures as well. So countermeasure release is something we're going to need to set up on our joystick. So the AGM-45A shrugs that we're going to be looking at are fairly old anti-radiation missiles. They are passive fire and forget missiles so what we're going to do is get a lock on a hostile radar source we're going to fire the missile and then we can turn the aircraft away because it will be completely self-guiding at that point maximum range of the weapon as according to the flight manual is 10 miles we've had shots of up to 14 miles if you're firing from very fast and very high to uh, increase the lofting effect of the missile so that's four strikes armed up and regards to chaff and flare countermeasures we've already already got them installed in the aircraft as default. Now we're going to look at how to arm and fire these weapons so hide the stick. I've got them on pylons one, two, four and five so I've clicked on those four pylons to arm those pylons. We're only going to be firing one missile at a time. The next thing is we need to have our function selector here all the way right all the way clockwise to bombs and GM arm we need to have our master arm on so that switch is in the up position we'll also have to have our missile tone volume turned up but at the time of making this video it's not yet implemented it's just something to bear in mind in the future okay the start up and get airborne okay we're airborne now and the way we're set up is we are here about 20 miles south is a SAM site. This is a neutered SAM site. It doesn't actually have any missiles to fire at us. It's just, I'm just using it for the radar emissions. So we need to close within about 10 miles of this SAM site. And then what we want to do is point our aircraft nose. And our nose is essentially represented by the middle of this uh, pipper here onto the target. And we have to be within three degrees of any direction of that target so it's got to be aimed pretty close and then once we get within range we'll acquire a radiation lock on the target now it's important to point out at this point that the tone that will be displayed when we get that lock is currently not yet working at the time of making this vid in the future obviously it will be fixed and it will be working so it's just something to bear in mind so at the time of making this video i can't actually get the tone and i can't show you when i get the lock we just have to uh, have a bit of a guess and so it will be a bit like the agm 122 sidearm in the harrier you basically point it at the target then the audible tone will change and then you know you've got the lock and then if you move away the nose of the missile away again it will lose lock and all you've got to do is fire once you've got the lock and you're away. As regards to ranging, we've got no real way of ranging the target, at least at the moment. So it just has to be done on pilot intuition. Now, although we can't hear the lock tone at the moment, we'll know when we fire whether we have the lock tone or not. If we have the lock tone and we've got a lock and we fire the missile will immediately loft upwards it's a missile that's designed to loft and kind of fall down upon the target if it just shoots straight at like a rocket and then just dips down we know that the missile didn't have a lock again this won't be relevant in the later release when we have the tone that tells us when we're locked to fire the weapon we're going to press and hold the weapon release button until it's fired we can only fire one weapon at a time like this now regards the ranging of the missile, we found a pretty cool way to do it is the old iron hand technique. So if we're fighting, say, an instance, an SA-6 um, in front of us, like we are, an active SA-6 with missiles, we would fly high and fast and then we would wait until the hostile radar shot at us and we could, you know, zoom in and we could see the missile launching, we could see the smoke trail coming from the SAM site. Then we would know we were pretty much within range of our shrikes and then we would fire our shrikes, probably a whole rack of them at the target and then turn away and of course the uh, the hostile radar can't you know turn away and dodge whereas we can so we can then dodge the hostiles missiles assuming we're firing at about 10 miles but uh, our missiles were then loft and hit him 
Now the official figures I believe that only 25% of these missiles fired with a lock will actually hit the target. I guess they're just old and not particularly good. What I'm going to do is as soon as I think I'm in range of the target I'm going to launch all four missiles at once and then at least one of the missiles should get through to target. Now we've also got to look at our countermeasures. It's this box here. So we're going to turn the power on of that switch there up to power. We can see that we've got uh, 30 chaffs and 30 flares remaining. Uh, if this switch here goes to the up position, that's chaff only. Down is flare only. And this one here is both are going to go to chaff only because we know we're fi fi firing against a radar target. Right, that's all I need to say. Let's get on with it. So let's arm our countermeasures. Chaff only. Uh, to deploy the countermeasures, we'll use the countermeasure release button as we showed earlier. So now I'm going to get some altitude and some speed. Okay, I'm happy that I'm within 10 miles now. I'm going to put my bore sight or my my aiming pipper on the target or within three degrees of the target. You can see just to help me for this tutorial, I've put a big column of smoke there just to uh, show where it is or close to it. And then I'm going to start firing and you should see when I fire, the missiles should loft up if they've successfully got a lock. <laughs> and they didn't. Oh, yes, they did. There it goes. It's got a lock and uh, we'll get rid of all of them. You see, they all got a lock, and I'm going to turn away and chaff. Ha! Well, amazingly, we missed. I've tried that. I've tried this in practice, and they all hit. So, for whatever reason, they pissed. So, there you go. Um, and you know what? Because that was pretty cool, why don't we go and now arm the SA-6 up with full missiles and have a proper iron hand fight with it. Okay, back in the cockpit with an active enemy this time. Let's get everything armed up. Bong, 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 bong. Bong. Bong, bong. Okay, let's go. Oops, don't forget about this. So we're going to get some altitude. Now we've got no RWR in this aircraft, which is a real problem for SEAD activity. So we're just going to have to look for the missile launches by eye. Now the other thing is uh, to mention is that going high will increase the range of my missiles, but it'll also increase, increase the range of the hostile missiles. So it's only going to help so much, if at all. In fact, there's sound reason why it might actually, while fighting a... Uh, a, a uh, hostile that's going to shoot back at like this it may actually be best to attack from low like you do with AGM uh, 122 sidewinders uh, side arms sorry let's see what we can do anyway I think I can actually see the target and the missiles out for me so let's start firing and chaff wish me luck Eleven shafts remaining. See that missile swerving to try and get me. Oh no, you don't, sir. Not super cap. Come on, babies. Come on. Okay, I beat his missile, but he's not going to beat mine. Kaboomy! me. Well, that's rather annoying. It appears that they went for the launcher rather than the radar. I think they maybe just be a little bit buggy at the moment by the looks of things. Whenever I've tried it before, they have always worked, so it's just a little bit weird at the moment. Well, you get the idea anyway. So, that's all I've got to say about it at the moment. Uh, presumably, as we get closer to the target, as we launch, we would have got some more accuracy. But I'll keep an eye on developments, and when everything is working 100%, then we'll go and do it again. I hope that helps, and see you later.